Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, the climate guy setting the record straight about climate. This video is titled, All Climate Adjustments Increase Over Time. Most people assume that the climate graphs published by NASA and NOAA represent the actual measured data. But they rarely do. They're almost always highly altered graphs. Let's look at one example. This is the temperature record from the capital of Iceland. The graph is right off the NASA website. The yellow line is the actual measured temperatures, and the blue line is what they report to the public. Note how 1940 was warmer than current temperatures. So NASA simply erased the 1940s warmth. They made it disappear. NASA has done essentially the same thing to almost every station in Iceland. A warm 1940s in Iceland wrecked global warming theory, so they simply erased it. So now let's look at climate data for the whole world. The black line shows NASA's 1982 version of sea level, and the blue line shows their current version in 2017. You can see how NASA has doubled sea level rise simply by altering the data. Even more interesting is that in the 1982 version, there was essentially no sea level rise after 1955. It was almost dead flat. But NASA's current graph shows very rapid sea level rise after 1955. This is much better for bringing funding in. Next, let's look at the global temperature data. This graph shows NASA's 2001 version of land surface temperatures, and the top graph shows their current version. NASA has doubled 1880 to 2000 warming simply by altering the data. Next, let's look at U.S. temperatures. The United States has by far the most complete and accurate temperature record in the world. This graph shows NASA's 1999 version of U.S. temperatures. And as you can see, the United States cooled sharply from the 1930s through the end of the 20th century. This wrecked greenhouse gas theory because this period of cooling since the 1930s was the time when carbon dioxide levels were rapidly increasing in the atmosphere. So how did NASA deal with this problem? As you can imagine, they simply changed the data. The green line shows NASA's 1999 version, and the red line shows NASA's 2017 version. Note how in their current version, NASA has massively cooled 1930s temperatures and massively warm temperatures after 1980. This turned cooling into warming, which is what they needed for their greenhouse gas scam. The whole global warming scam is based on fake altered data. As Dr. Roy Spencer pointed out, I will bet the hottest data set wins the biggest government grant. This is all about the money. It's not about climate. It's not about science. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.